Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And this is take two for my week 38 wrap up because I accidentally exited out of the window after I had finished filming versus stopping the filming and so thus lost the video. Don't have a whole lot to say about this week. We had a fire in my building, not at the clinic where I work in a different organization, but everyone's okay. It was just kind of a surreal experience to come back from lunch and to find everyone outside. And you know, I'm asking, hey, is this a drill? And they're like, oh no, this is actually real. So drills matter. When you do drills, you know what to do in an actual live thing and nobody gets hurt. So jumping into the books, I did not finish anything this week. Just very moody and jump from project to project. First, I worked on War Child by Karen Loichi and it's going fine. Well, slow reading, I, nothing's wrong with the book. It's my mood. I'm just not in the mood for it. However, it is from another library, so I have to finish it this week because it has to go back. I'll get it. I'll get it done. The next thing I've been working on is Slaying the Dragon by Ben Riggs, the history behind Tactical Studies Rules, or TSR, the original company to own Dungeons and Dragons, and how that went down. And I am finding the history fascinating. Not a D&D player myself. I've always wanted to play, just never have found a group that was playing at the time, or was wanting to start playing at the time. But I find the whole thing really interesting. So the next, I got two books in from the library that I've been waiting on. The first is First Light by Casey Berger. And this is what I'm using for my buzzword-a-thon prompt this month for the sci-fi. And then I got in Babel, or Babel, however you want to say it, by R.F. Kwan. I read the first three chapters in this, and I think it's going to work for me language-wise, like just the vibes, all of it seems that it will work just fine. And I'm enjoying how we have this world building set up with a historical context, even though it's a different, it's an alternate earth. And those are the books that I'm planning on finishing this week, or at least getting farther in them. I have a lot of books that I want to finish by the first. I don't know if I will actually finish them by the first though. We'll see. For my writing wrap up, I didn't write this week. No particular reason why, just didn't do it. I thought about writing because I am one of the selected hosts for the Worldwide Write-a-thon later in October from the Doom Picker, as I think Jessica calls it, and then trying to figure out what I want to write for NaNoWriMo in November, and I have no clue. So I've thought about writing, I just didn't write. And then for other media? The one podcast that has stuck out to me this week was Writing Excuses. Surprise, surprise, I really like them. But this one definitely resonated with me even more. The, th the title was, Oh No, I Lost the Thread. And it was all about when you have a story that you've started and when you come back to it later, you're different and it is different. And trying to figure out, is this a project that you're going to still keep working on? Or is this something that you're going to set aside because it no longer resonates with you. I myself have two stories, my Fiala story and my McKenna story, that I started writing as a teenager, 14, 15, 16 years old, and in one, my character has aged up from a teenager to 20, 21, 22 years old, and in the other one, she's still 16, because that's how the story works. But I'm not the same person I was as a teenager. I've had different life experiences, and so, going back and working on these stories, while I still love the worlds and the concepts, there's no way I can just pick up right from what I'd written at that age. I have to rework it if I'm going to work, if I'm going to do these stories. And so again, this podcast resonated with me because of things like that. And I'd be interested to know, have any of you had that happen where you had a story you were working on and you put it aside whether it was for days or weeks or months later, and you came back to it and you're just not in the same headspace or you're not the same person or the same writer. 
how, what do you do in those instances? And if you want, go ahead and listen to this podcast. 15, 20 minutes. Great. I'm sure you'll feel that. How about this? I felt seen. Like I was not alone. And that's always a nice thing to feel in a community. This has been my week 38 wrap up. Hopefully I will actually stop the video this time versus just exit out of the window since I film on my computer. And you all have a wonderful week. Thanks.